Welcome to our series Through the Liturgical Year. Born in the later days of the Roman Emperor, St. Benedict was sent as a youth to Rome to complete his education. It was there that he became disillusioned by all the wise, greed and pleasure seeking he saw in the world around him. He eventually fled from Rome and sought a life of solitude where he could grow in holiness amidst a world that seemed wallowed in chaos. Eventually, Benedict ended up under the care of a Christian hermitage. His immense devotion and discipline soon made him the leader of his fellow monks. In the following years, Benedict developed a rule for his monks and went on to establish 12 monasteries. Over the next centuries, these Benedictine monasteries became the standard of the church's monastic system with a rule of life based on labor and prayer. These monasteries also provided a world of stability and order, a refuge from the chaos and tribal warfare that unfolded after the Roman Empire's collapse. Therefore, these monasteries became foundational to the forming of Christendom and the Holy Roman Empire of the medieval period. The Benedictine order continues to inspire and gather many adherents today. What St. Benedict exemplifies for each of us is the value of both work and prayer, a life of both action and contemplation. It reminds us that while we make time each day for our work, we also make time each and every day for prayer. These things are not in conflict with each other, but complement each other. Both work and prayer are necessary in our daily lives, and both are necessary in the pursuit of holiness. I am Father J. Paul Prakesami, and thank you for joining us for our series through the liturgical year.